Hello friends, I'm Um and today I'm going to show you top 5 amazing GNOME extensions I use in my setup for everyday tasks and to make my desktop look so beautiful like this. Yeah, it is beautiful, isn't it? So, let's begin. Now, for the first thing, I just want to say like, you have to install extension manager. You can easily get this on your GNOME softwares through FlatHub. This is the best way to install them, manage them, and customize all of those extensions all in one place. So yeah, let's open it. Now, first and the obvious extension is Blur My Shell. So, just go to Blur My Shell. There we go. And you can easily install it without any problem. But yeah, installing is not just enough. We have to customize it as well. For example, maybe you don't want the blur on top shell. You can easily disable that using this. Or if I want the dynamic blur shell instead, instead of the static one. Well, it easily blends in with all the other stuff. So yeah, it does look good. And even in the overview, I'm just going to go. And we have the option to change the pipeline from default to default rounded. Which is going to make things even more edgy and beautiful. Which I actually like. And then dash, well, dash dock if you have dash to dock. Now we're going to get into that. But now, I'm, I'm going to talk about the next most important GNOME extension you must have. And that is, all you have to type is just 4x. There it is, GNOME 4x UI improvements. It actually improves the UI four times. Let me just show you. So, here it is, GNOME 4x UI improvements. Now, I want you to tell me, like, what is the difference you will see. This is without the extension, and this is after the extension. What is the difference? Well, the difference is in these workspaces, as you can see. We have the full overview, the thumbnail of the workspace instead. When we're not using that extensions, it is just plain windows. Now, both are better, but I prefer the proper thumbnails. It allows me to, you know, it matches my overview of these workspaces according to my current workspace wallpaper. And it just looks good. And it allows Firefox picture-in-picture picture mode and also in Chrome. We properly display on the overview screen on one workspace, not a lot of them. And it has a lot of fixes and yep, you have the ability to change the icon thumbnail. For example, this is 200. To be honest, this is nice, but I prefer them to be at 100. And by default, the search has been disabled. You can disable it from here, but I like the search to be honest. And now time for the next extension, which is very important. That is fuzzy application search. There it is. Now, what does it do? Well, a lot of the... Well, let me just fix that, you know. My search bar is missing. There you go. Now, a lot of a lot of times, like, we type to open a certain application, for example, Chrome. So, there it is. But sometimes we do a few spelling mistakes. For example, Chrome. Well, like, I don't know what to call that. Like, let's say, files. You see, E is missing, but it was able to still, you know, get to the files. Or let's say, camera. Camera. It's the wrong spelling, but it was still able to search that particular application. This is what I'm talking about. And yeah, by the way, it is looking so damn beautiful because it is using Blow My Shell default rounded theme. That is why it is looking so damn good. Each extension plays a major role in the user aesthetics and interface. Now let's move to the next one, which is actually important, and that is rounded corners reborn you see you have faced a lot of issues like a lot of times when you're opening an application it is only rounded in the top bar not the bottom and a lot of ui places where you know it should be properly rounded are not rounded they're squarish like windows sometimes that is something which can be fixed using this particular extension it makes everything properly rounded in the borders and actually optimizes it really good now the next and foremost one of the most important extensions is just perfection and as the name suggests it's a tool which allows you to properly customize your gnome shell now let me show you how now let me just turn it on and off to make you see what is the difference this is when it's the normal default gnome shell this is after applying the just perfection extension well the difference is well we have multiple profiles for example minimal just wait a minute where the hell is it I don't know. Let's go to the default one, okay? <laughs> Custom. Better. Now, in the visibility section, we have the ability to disable certain components of this. Like, for example, you don't want weather. For some people, it does. You don't want the calendar. Like this. Now, there's no calendar. And now, there's the calendar. 
or if you don't want the dash, the dash is gone. Or the dash separator, you know, like let me just show you. Yep, or a lot of other stuff. For example, like the activities button. Some people might want to have another button here. You have that option. And then in the item paths, we have, you know, like options done on and off these certain things. But what actually is important is in the customize section. For example, here, I want to change the panel size to around 36. Now it's better, larger and something I prefer. And you can do with each and everything properly. For example, as in color on all the icons, as you can see, well, it's not looking good at all. But still, you have the option. Then panel button padding. It is actually an important one. For example, let's say I want them a little extra. Panel indicator padding. Well, this isn't supposed to be like that. This one. For example, 20. Now they are a little further from things. And they have a little space between them. For example, let me just go all the way to let you know what is the difference. Now take a look. Is it a little too wide? That's what I'm talking about. I like that to keep it under 20, for example, like 16 or something. Now let me just show you the difference. This is the normal one, really slim. But this is what I like, a little wider to make it look even more better. And then you have the option to change the clock menu position, for example, right. Right is preferred more by a lot of people, but I prefer it in the center. Then clock menu, position offset, workspace switch size, and then the animations, dash icon, and all the other stuff. You have the ability to change these things. That is the power of just perfection. And yeah, don't forget to use the themes. Like this is actually a main extension which allows you to apply these themes. Right now, what I'm using, let me just show you, is the normal Edwider theme, well, on the legacy applications, I'm using Orcus for the cursor, Bibata Modern Eyes, and Icons Papyrus. You can easily search them on Google and install them using simple basic commands which you will find on their websites. And now there's one more which I don't like to use, but I would like to share. Now, as you can see, this is how my desktop looks like right now. Really awesome, really amazing. But what if I just wanted to have this, you know, dash here? without going, you know, in the overview and make it look like more Mac OS-ish. Now, for that, we're going to use dash to panel. Now, you might wonder why I'm not using dash to dock. Let me just show you. Okay, first, I gotta fix the blur my extension part here, like this. Now, as you can see, this is dash to panel. You might wonder why is it looking like a dock? Well, it is a, you know, like it is a dock which used to be a panel. Now, there is a complete dedicated video I've made on how to make, get this dock literally floating such beautifully on the desktop. And you can easily get that using, you know, watching the video. I've shown all the settings and stuff you have to do in order to get that. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this setup. And if you like the setup or have any suggestions, just let me know. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Oom, signing out.